a Jamaican high to everybody on this earth today. Yeah, I like that Jamaican high, don't you? Well, I better get lit again. Today is Tuesday, June 25th, 2015. I don't know, I think it's probably day 29. I don't know. Day 30th, day 31st, fuck, I don't know, man, how many days I've been here. But you can start my first video and see when I came to Jamaica. Well, today's weather, Jamaica's weather today is cloudy, no sunshine. Looks like chance of showers and a little bit of chance of sunshine and a really big chance for a sunrise. Yeah, we're going to go see a beautiful sunrise today anyway. But really, really cloudy over there. Yeah, it don't look beautiful over there. Matter of fact, it's raining over there. You can't see it though. I had fun yesterday going to the marijuana crops. Yeah, big old plantation. You know, the first video I made, I'm not going to show you guys the first video. Yeah, that's just. I know for sure my first video I made yesterday, that marijuana plantation, that guy would have gotten to jail. Well, I told him, man, I said, man, I got to delete this video. You're going to get arrested, man. They're going to know exactly where you're growing at. Trust me, man, that video I made, he showed me a video I filmed of it. It showed all his marijuana plants he had on that, that acre land. And I was going, damn, how'd you not get busted? I told him in the United States you have an operation like this, they'd be busting down your door before you even fucking you could even get a chance to even try to harvest your first plant. But I, I did refilm it. I'm going to try to post it up. I'm going to look at it today and see if I should delete it. The second video. But I'm, hopefully I cannot delete the second video. Nor the third video. So I want to show you people how they grow marijuana up here in Jamaica. Of course, if you look on YouTube, you already see it. It's They're doing the same thing. In Orange County, in Orange Hill, all the way up here along the Caribbean Sea, they're doing the same thing. Only one grower is not doing it, though. <laughs> Believe it or not, only one grower that I've met here doesn't grow like the rest of Jamaicans. And you've seen his marijuana field on my other videos. The ones the police har harvested for him and arrested him. Then it costed him, uh, I think it was like $250,000, Jamaican dollars, to get him out of jail. Something like that. It was a lot of money. But he had a couple of acres growing. Well, I'm not doing too much today. Tomorrow's payday. I have one dollar and fifty cents to my name in USA money.
Yeah, I'd like to tell you a story, but uh, I guess you want to hear a Jamaican story, don't you? Well, it's fair warning to everybody, all right? Let's see if I can talk, whisper a little bit. You don't give money to a Jamaican and expect him to come back with what you purchased or what he's going to purchase. Uh, they seem like they, they take your money. You go, here, here, go order a dinner. Well, they'll order a, a, the cheapest dinner they can find and they pocket the rest of the money. Yeah, did you hear that? They order the cheapest dinner and then they pocket the rest of the money you give to them. And then you go buy them a beer and then they say, yeah, I drank a beer, but they didn't drink a beer in reality. They just pocket that money. Well, that's what I found out last night. Here I'm broke and I thought, you know, I'll buy this guy dinner and a beer. So I gave him the money. And I hear him order the cheapest meal, the, the small plate. And he, I know he pocketed the money. And then he come back out and he didn't drink a beer. And I said, where's your beer at? He goes, I already drank the beer. And I just looked at him, got up, and walked away. So, my next objective in Jamaica is just, when I go buy them something, I'm just going to hand the money over to the cook or to the bartender. That way they don't pocket the money anymore. It hurt me yesterday. It really did. So as for my business opportunity here in Jamaica, uh, I don't trust the people. I wish I could. The sea is very calm today. Very, very calm today. If you can see it. Not bad. But I know it's not being able to go where swimming today because of the water from yesterday. The rain. Ocean still, sea still dirty. Now everybody's looking at me like I'm fucking crazy swimming by myself in the in the sea of the in the Caribbean Sea. Everybody says, "What the fuck is wrong with you, Gringo, swimming in the fucking sea by yourself?" Remember how I told you people that uh, when I swam out in the sea, I didn't have to swim, and it just took me out to the sea. That felt weird. Go, man, I didn't even swim, and I'm sitting this far out in the sea. But they say uh, the current's pretty bad out there, and it will. If you go really far out there, you kiss your ass goodbye. They say that the current way out there is pretty bad. But, uh... You just go swimming with fins, you don't have no problem. I didn't have no fins, so. Well, there's not much to do today. I'm just gonna sit around and not do shit. Smoke my rest of my marijuana. I was offered to go to another farm yesterday, but I told the guy, I said, man, I'm just too tired. Been walking around all day yesterday. I'll look for him today. It's uh, the Twin Brothers Farm. And I don't think he grows any marijuana on there. It's just uh, 
a legit farm. Of course, by the time I'm done with him, he'll have lots of marijuana on his farm. Trust me. I'm a mean motherfucker. When it comes to the government officials, it says what we can and cannot do in life. But I think if everybody does it, then what are they going to do? Throw everybody in jail? It's a good philosophy to preach to others. Well, everyone, tomorrow's payday. I probably won't make a video. I'm going to be busy tomorrow. You know, I can't see me spending 300,000 Jamaican dollars for a, or should I say 30,000 Jamaican dollars for a pound of weed. That's what the price is going in Orange Hill. If they say if you can find the grower, you can get it for 15, but we have to go through a middleman. I don't want to go through a middleman. I'm here to meet the growers themselves. See what they have and see what I can provide to them later on in the future. The strongest strains on earth, should I say. You know, like, I don't know if I told you guys this in Jamaica. You know, I grew over 130 strains in the United States. And, uh, and I bred those strains and I crossbred him with White Rhino Trainwreck, Jack Air, Hindu Kush, Queensland Red, uh, Blueberry, fuck. I had so much. Jack something, Jack, yeah, well, the Jack Air. What the fuck else did I have? Well, I had the strongest strains that were out there at the time when all these strains were coming out. And, uh, you know, now they're 24, 25% THC that's out there. That's strong shit. You know, in yesterday's plants, I looked at Trueberry and uh, Rock Lock is the name of the plant. And strawberry banana and those strains came from USA to Jamaica from another American man but uh, I'm not gonna smuggle seeds into Jamaica hell no no need to when I have somebody else do it for me Did I say that on video? Why not? I just need a mailing address and their name. Of course, I would do it in my name and my mailing address, but I don't have a house in Jamaica. And I know when the marrow, when I, well, when I had things sent to Mexico, which wasn't marijuana, okay, they disappeared. Just because my name was written down on it, they just said, Ooh, he's a foreigner. Ha ha ha. We're going to steal this from him. And I'd like to go back to Mexico and find that shit delivered already. Because I'm going to bring it back down here to Mexico or Jamaica and finish what I was going to build in Mexico. Uh, but that's if I'm going to stay here. Because I don't like people ripping me off, stealing money from me, taking my money, 
while I'm broke. I hate it. If I'm rich, okay, it don't bother me if I'm rich. But when I'm broke, the way I am right now, it hurts. Because I could have been drinking that beer last night. Instead of him putting that money in his pocket. It's just a warning, people. It's just a warning. Do I like Jamaica? I'd want to live here the rest of my life. I can enjoy it. Sitting in a hammock all day. Looking at the Caribbean Sea all day and all night. I don't know what else you can ask for. And the people here are friendly, but they do have sticky fingers. Now, the guy that's going to buy my, my ganja from, from Orange Hill, I don't know if I can go with him tomorrow. Plus, he's not going to go to Orange Hill. He's just going to go to... It's raining, people. Told you, chance of rain. I told you. I told you, chance of rain. Told you it was raining over there. Damn, I got to go inside. Because that storm is coming my way, too. Well, everybody, y'all has a good life. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. And shows you the weed I get tomorrow to smoke for one week. A pound a week is what I've been going through, believe it or not. See, I used to go through a pound of Mexican weed a month. And that was by myself. But I'm going through a pound a week now in Jamaica. I has to go.